the Institute is releasing rear crash protection ratings for seats and head restraints in 87 current SUV, minivan, and pickup models. The ratings will give consumers a good idea of which models offer the best protection in rear crashes that occur commonly in commuter traffic and at intersections. The seat and head restraint in your car are an important safety system. Whether you're driving a large SUV or a small car, the seat and head restraint provide protection against neck injuries in very common rear end crashes. In fact, rear end crashes are so common that you're more likely to need the protection that this system provides than you are the protection of an airbag. Rear crashes are the most common type of crash in stop and go commuter traffic. And it's no major feat of engineering to design a seat and head restraint that can provide protection for your neck in this type of crash. The ratings that we're releasing today show that there's been improvement in rear crash protection among SUV models, but pickup trucks and minivans lag behind. The first step in our rear crash protection evaluation is to measure that the head restraint is tall enough to be positioned behind the heads of taller seat occupants. We also measure that the head restraint can be positioned reasonably close to the back of the heads of most people. Seats meeting those criteria are then subjected to a simulated rear crash here in the crash simulation laboratory using this specially designed dummy called BioRid. What we're looking to see is that the seat doesn't push too hard against the dummy's back, that the head restraint contacts the dummy's head early during the crash, and that the forces in the neck stay relatively low. What we don't want to see is the head lagging behind the body, the body moving out ahead, the neck then has to pull the head to keep up with the body. That's the kind of action and forces that cause whiplash injury. Many vehicles have adjustable head restraints. They need to be adjusted in order for them to be able to provide protection against whiplash injuries in rear crashes. First, they need to be high enough, at least as high as the level of your ears, and ideally as high as the top of your head. They also need to be reasonably close to the back of your head. You may have to adjust the seat back to get them close enough. 